Hey writers, and welcome to another writing prompt. And today, I want to start off by asking a deceptively simple question. If you could change one thing about the world, what would that thing be? After you've thought about it, and after you sort of have a thing in your mind, I want to ask a second question. How do you think that that one change that you have in your mind would affect the rest of the world around it? The reason why I ask this is because, as writers, we're often merging our sort of fictional realities, things that we've made up, with a real-world reality, things that actually exist. You know, think about if you're not writing in a completely different world, for example. Often, you're usually writing in our present world, in the world around you. And the characters themselves are the things made up. The events themselves are the things made up. But the world is very real, right? So, you think about when you're writing a fictional narrative, you're sort of making up these fictional events and thinking about how or what would happen if these fictional events took place in our world. How would we react? How would the world react? How would these different things be impacted? You know, for a minor example, what if it rained for an entire month without stopping? How do you think the world would be impacted by that? And the reason why I bring this up is because there's a really interesting phenomenon that deals exactly with this called the butterfly effect. And basically what that is, is it sort of states that if you change one thing, you'll have this sort of ripple effect throughout the rest of the world that will change everything else. In the example of what if it rained for an entire month? Well, that means that certain plants maybe aren't getting enough sun that they need. or that maybe certain places that are a little lower are starting to get flooded. Or, you know, we could see more and more grass and nature coming back because of the amount of water that is coming their way. And places that were once in a drought aren't going to be in a drought anymore because it's been raining for an entire month. So think about how something that may seem like a simple change, just one little minor change, can actually have a huge impact. A lot of times, science fiction novels will deal with this exactly because by taking science and merging it with fiction, they're sort of exploring these possibilities of what would happen if they changed a certain thing. What would happen if robots took over the world, for example, or if we lived in some sort of post-apocalyptic world with zombies and stuff like that. You know, there's a really popular book series, The Hunger Games, which deals with a sort of televised event called The Hunger Games that happens all the time within the novel's world. And you can see when you're reading the novel how the rest of the world is impacted by this. What led to The Hunger Games, for example, and sort of what ripple effect does it have? That basically leads into our writing prompt this week. Because what I want to do is I want to sort of explore how little changes can have major impacts, maybe in ways that we weren't quite expecting. So think about that initial change that you wanted to make at the beginning of this video. Think about that one thing that you wanted to change in the world and really sit and think about how that might impact a lot of other things as well. Then what I want you to do is I want you to write about it. I want you to act like at the beginning of your prompt that this one change has taken place and write about what all things might be impacted by this change. You know, if you say something like, if it rained for an entire month, maybe have the story take place from a character who deals with a lot of nature and how their jobs might be impacted or how their lives might be impacted. Think about somebody who lives maybe at a neck to the sea or low to the ground level and think about how their lives might be impacted in a good or a bad way. Basically, the reason why we want to do these things is because when you're writing a novel or you're writing a story, again, you're sort of merging these fictional realities with real world realities. But you have to think about how these fictional events will have real world impacts because I feel like that just makes our writing so much stronger. It makes the readers ask themselves, what would I do if this sort of thing happened in my world? How would I be affected? How would I be impacted? So, 
I want you to, for this prompt, think about one thing that you would change, even if maybe it's not something that would be a good change, just a change that would be really interesting for you to explore. Feel free to explore all kinds of avenues with this. And then, once you have that change in your mind, I want you to write a short story thinking about how that change would impact the environment around it. All right? So, deceptively simple, but it actually works together to create stronger writing by merging these two realities a little bit closer together. So with that, have fun writing, stay healthy, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.